Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, aka Daniel Kuhn, back with a new video, Anderson the Peace Officer. I'm pretty sure many of you guys have seen a video that has gone viral um, over the last, I think it was over the last, um, over the past week, of an officer, uh, G. Anderson, in Washington, I don't know what city, but it was in, Wa it was in Washington State. We put out a video talking about uh, a lot of the, um, a lot of the abuses done by police departments in various states during, you know, the situation with the China flu, COVID-19, Wuhan flu, what have you, and, you know, and it, and it, 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 you know, it, it blew up, you know, a lot of people were, a lot of people were watching it, a lot of people agreed that, you know, if you see how cops were arrested, the way they arrested, the way they were arresting people, the way they were, you know, essentially trampling on, you know, the rights of, uh, the rights of the citizens, uh, freedom to assemble you know freedom to protest um, the way they you know the way that the reaction to all that and how you know how how dangerous it was down the road for our, um, for our country's well-being you know he spoke about it he spoke on it and he advised officers that that you know they, they can't keep you know they can't keep this up too long and it's not and if they push this and they, if they continue to push this kind of behavior it's gonna end badly for them. Um, because he, you know, he he knows that he was a veteran, and from what he's seen, you know, in the, middle, in the Middle East, many people didn't take kindly to a lot of the abuses they faced over there, and you know, he made note the American the American public, and I, 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 this is the word I'll use, I'll say we're savages, <laughs> we're we're civil savages. As I said I said in the previous video, um, there's only so much that we can take. We don't like being told what to do. You know, we like being, we like suggestions, but we don't like we don't like being ordered around to, to you know told to do things. Unlike you know other countries, we're not like that. You know, we're just we're just hard headed. We're stubborn like that, and that's a good thing. You know, because that's how that's how you know you have people like him, saying you know making the, making the video that he's made that blew up and that got that got a lot of people on board with him. And then he did now he did a follow up video, explaining how you know he received you know he received some praise from his uh. From his commanding office, uh, from, I guess from his commander about the video he made, but then he was saying hours later he was told that you know he said oh, he said he also received praise from the cops, but then he said a few hours later as as the video blew up even more, he was told that he had to take the video down, but because he was standing by his convictions, he said he can't take the video down, you know he was given more you know, given another warning as the video you know as the video blew up even more it became you know, more viral. You know, they basically gave him an ultimatum that if you don't take the video down, then he's gonna have to receive, you know, basically a harsher, a harsher penalty. And you know, you know, one, you know, understanding what he, understanding the message he put out there in that video, and that he can't back down from it. He basically took what to the harsher punishment they can give, they get, they can give him, and they fired him. Now, uh, the amazing Lucas did a video uh, talking about you know him getting fired, and saying how you know it was bull. You know, I'll say it for him was bullshit, you know, for him getting fired. Um, but I, I kind of think of it a different way. I see it as they don't deserve, um, they don't deserve an actual peace officer like him. They don't deserve someone like him who actually tells, you know, who's telling the truth, who is actually warning police that they can't keep going down this road of thinking that, you know, thinking that a badge and a gun is all they need to, you know, to put the boss to go around, because in case they've forgotten. They're the most, they're, they are actually in the most heavily armed nation on, on this planet, and to think that people are just going to take, you know, take this kind of stuff lying down, they got another thing coming. You know, as we've seen many demonstrations, you know, from Virginia, from the ones that gone on, from one that, um, the one that recently happened in Michigan, um, and other places, people, are, you know, people have been buying guns like crazy. Ever since, you know, within within like the short, you know, within like within a month period, I think it was like three point seven million background checks were performed. And within like I think it was like a three week to a month period, many people, many people, many people have gotten armed. Now I'm saying that I'm not saying that you know this is immediately going to cause um, you know cause an insurrection or uh, cause anything like you know cause anything like that, but they need to but they need to be very wary about what they're about what orders they're taking. And understand that, and I did a video about this years ago, um, about you know I think it was called No Free Pass, and um, it's about how the the whole just I was just doing my job, you know where, where that what that could lead to, and what kind of consequences they could face for just doing their job, 
Now, um, Officer Anderson, he made he made a point that you know he has you know, he has children, you know he has two houses, you know he has all these things that you know that are dependent on his income as a police officer. I will say as a peace officer, because that's what he was doing. He was keeping the peace by from what he said, by telling the truth. You know, but that's all been put in jeopardy. Now a GoFundMe has been put up, uh, which I'll leave the link. I'll leave the link for that GoFundMe in this video. Uh, if you want to contribute, I, I've contributed some money. Um, but if you want to, you know, send some, throw some money his, his way, it's kind of help things out for him. Be free to do so. But he's gotten a lot of praise. You know, he's got a lot of support for the message he put out. And I think it's, I think it's important to show that it's, the, it's those are that, that those are the good cops. Those are the, those are the, those are the good peace officers. That's not law enforcement. That's as a peace officer because what he said was the truth. Police cannot law enforcement. You know, my, um, I'll, I'll phrase it that way. Law enforcement can't continue to go down the path of just following orders. They need to use their discretion. They need to understand they, they took an oath. They need to follow, they need to um, uphold that oath. They need to uphold the Constitution. They need to respect the rights of the citizens of the United States. Um, they, they need to, you know, they need to be mindful of how their actions can, you know, what kind of, rep, what kind of repercussions it can lead to down the road. Because... If this, you know, if it gets ugly, they're not gonna have. They can't. They have no recourse. They have. They can't say that. Oh, wait, I mean, you can't get mad at me. I was doing my. No, just doing. If, if trampling on the, if trampling on civil liberties or trampling on natural rights was part of your job, then maybe it been, then it would behoove, it would behoove you to quit to quit that job, um, or try to change you know, or try to you know change things dramatically. You know, and I think that if. Um, you know, if, he, if what he was saying or what he said in that video, the first video he put out was so dangerous, you know, what kind of people were giving the what kind of people were giving the orders? I mean, who was giving who was giving the order to have the video taken down? You know, what was he saying that was so detrimental that someone somewhere higher, someone higher up had to, had had to give the call to make the video um, come down? You know, what are they so afraid of? And I think what they were afraid of is. They're afraid of their, um, they're afraid of their, I guess their foot soldiers turning, you know, turning on them and seeing that the oath they took was more important than that check they received. You know, there's some, you know, there's some, there's some things that are more, there are things that are more important than money. Um, and more, there's a lot, a lot more things that are more important than power. You know, and loving your fellow man is one of, is one of those things. So I want to, you know, I got to give my support to, um, to officer, you know, to officer Anderson. I guess his G or his uh, I guess his name would be G Anderson. I don't know his first name is say G Anderson. You know he's he's a peace officer. He what he said was about keeping the peace because a lot of stuff that's been going on right now and like like in New York, uh, I think there's, there's they're saying that protesting is not um, is not an, is not an essential activity is um, during some during this kind of, during the you know this but it's like, I guess like this pandemic is winding down. <coughs> But to think that telling people that they can't protest the lock the lockdowns because it's not essential is is so it's pretty scary. But it's not surprising to you know have it coming from New York because New York has a lot. You know, New York has its own issues with uh, local level tyranny. And so I think it's a I think it's a, I think I think the message you put out in that video was was very important. I think it was a good message. It was the truth. The police cannot keep. They cannot keep doing these things and think that nothing's going to come back, nothing's going to come back, you know, they can't expect, they should not expect, me, they should not think receiving blowback for their actions is just, you know, just out of the blue. No, there's a, there's a sequence of things that they, that, that police, over the, police throughout the nation have been doing that will lead to cops being attacked, cops, you know, cops facing, you know, cops facing retali you know, retaliation. If anything, this actually leads, this actually gives credence to the whole no snitching. Because if police act this way, um, then it's no wonder then that no one wants to talk to police. No one wants to give. No one wants to work with them. No one. Wants, no one really wants to cooperate with them because they're a lot of cops have shown to be full. You know, have shown to be full of shit, and no one wants really. No one really wants to collaborate with someone who seems to be full of shit, and that's just how, and that's just how it is. So to, you know, to officer, you know, to officer G Anderson, I gotta say thank you for thank you for the message you put out. All the officers like him. Keep doing that. Keep doing the good work. Keep maintaining the peace. You know. Keep respecting the oath that you took. Keep respecting your fellow Americans. Keep respecting natural rights. Keep respecting the Bill of Rights. Keep respecting the Constitution. Keep it up. You know. You're doing. You're doing a good. You're doing a good job. And we all appreciate. We all appreciate it. 
And to many officers out there who are doing the exact opposite, all I can say is change your ways while you can, because you can't keep it up. You can't keep that. You can't keep up that kind of behavior from you know for long, without expecting some um, without expecting some blowback to happen in the future. But that's my video. Please tell me what you think. Do you agree with you know? Do you agree with him being fired? Like I said, you know they don't deserve an officer like that. Department doesn't deserve an officer like him. Um, hopefully he, I hope he finds, you know, I hope if he doesn't, if he stays, if he sticks with police work, hope he finds another department elsewhere that'll take him in. Um, I hope his message grows because it was very, it was a very good message. Um, do you think, you know, do you think the department should reconsider what they're doing? Because I don't know, personally, personally, if it was me, if I was fired for, for telling the truth like that, I wouldn't want to come back because, you know, like if, you, if, you, if you put out a message like that and then they ask you to pull it, you know, to take it down. It's almost like they—it's almost like they're telling you to be a hypocrite. They're telling you to um, not stand up for what stand up for what you actually believe in. And it's like, how do you face people like that um, on a regular basis when you know when do you getting pats on the back one hour, then another hour you you know you told you to take it down because it's causing too much hysteria. So that's my opinion. Please tell me what you think. Share your thoughts. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, please check out my older videos and look forward to new look forward to new videos to come. Again, I'm going to leave the link to his GoFundMe in the description box. Um, I'll also see if I can leave a link to the, the, to the, um, to his ori to the original video that was put out. Um, I forgot what channel was. I forgot what channel was on. I know Mr. Guns and Gear. He's he's done some he's done some videos on this on the matter. So check him out. Uh, if you want to make a donation to the channel, just look for the give up that cheese button on, my, on the YouTube homepage. Take it to PayPal. Give any amount what you like, but I recommend that you, you know, go to go to his GoFundMe and make a contribution to his um to you know to help to help support him. Any grabs complaints, send me a PM send me a PM, I see what I can do to address them. But that's my video. Uh, you know, Anderson is a true peace officer. I'm Eric Jones, aka Daniel Kuhn. You guys take care and God bless.